welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I maintain my eyebrows and also how I fill them in. So a little background story on my eyebrows. They are naturally really thick and bushy, but because I got my hands on a pair of tweezers when I was younger, I thought it would be cool to pluck them so thin that um, it looked like I sharpied them on. So basically this went on for a long time, a few years in fact, throughout my high school period and now that I look back on all my photos, I just think what the heck was I thinking? How did I think that thin lined brows looked cool? I just, I don't even know where I got that idea from. So my advice to any of you young ladies who may be watching, don't over pluck your eyebrows. I recommend for you to go to a person who knows how to wax them, like a salon or something, because I thought I knew how to do it and I obviously didn't. And now I am stuck with brows that do grow back but I have a lot of sparse patches between the hairs of my brows. So you'll see how they look in a sec when they're like naked without any pad or anything on them. But yeah, I've come to the point where I've accepted that they're not going to grow back to what they once were. So I've learnt to fill them in the way that I like. At the moment, I'm pretty pleased with the way that I fill them in and maintain them. But of course, that might change through the coming years. But for now, I'm happy with the way I do them. So if you are interested to see how I maintain and groom them and also how I fill them in on a daily basis, then just keep on watching. Here they are. These are my brows with absolutely no product in them. They look a little bit shocking, but we're going to fix it. So how I maintain my brows. I start off by brushing through them with this eyebrow spoolie and I'm really just working to brush the hairs upwards so I can see what I'm working with and what hairs need to be taken care of. And then I'm going to be going in with some scissors. Yes, you heard right. I'm using scissors on my brows. Why do I do this? I do this because my brow hairs are quite long and they do need to be trimmed for them to stay looking neat. So basically what I'm doing is using the eyebrow spoolie to brush the hairs upwards and whatever doesn't fit within the lines of my brows, if that makes sense, I'm just going to trim. Do bear in mind though that this step is very trial and error. You might not get it right the first time you do it, but it'll grow back. So if you make a mistake, it's okay, I suppose. <laughs> Next up, I'm just taking my tweezers and using those to pluck away any stray hairs that may be floating around. As you can see, I do have a few hairs that are far away from the body of the brow, so I'm just going to get rid of them. Alrighty guys, this is the scary part. I'm using a razor on my brows. Yes, you heard me correctly, a razor. But I'm only using this to tidy up the spaces around the brows, if that makes sense, like the skin around the brows, where you might have little fuzzies growing through. So this is really just to really crispen and, is that a word, crispen? I don't think so. It's just really to neaten up the brows. So this is a part you really have to be delicate with. If you're not confident in doing this, don't do it. I personally have never shaved my eyebrow off, but I have heard horror stories. So, um... Yeah, you can just see what I'm doing in the footage, I guess. And my advice would be to have a very steady hand when doing this. <laughs> Okay, now that the maintenance is done, I'm going to move on and show you how I fill them in on a daily basis. So as you can see, I have started along the bottom edge of my brow and I'm just drawing all the way from the head to the tail. And then I'm going to start doing short brisk strokes through the body of the brow so that it looks a little more blended and not like I've just drawn a thick line through it. So this is really just going to help blend everything into the brow hairs and make it look a little more natural and not like you've just drawn your brows on. <laughs> So 
so once I start moving to the head of the brow, I have not added any extra product to this brush, but I'm still getting color off it. It just looks a little more light and that's what we want. We want it to look not so boxy and harsh. We want it to look a little more faded. So once I've done filling them in, I'm taking my spoolie brush and running it through them just so it looks a little more blended. This really does help to blend the product out. And then I'm just going to do the same to my other brow. If you guys are interested to know what brow powder I use, I use the powder from the Models Prefer Essential Brow Kit in medium to dark. And the brush that I really like to use is this stiff angled brush. I don't even know exactly where it's from because I got it a long time ago but it has never failed me. So if you can find a stiff brush to use for your brows, I highly recommend that. Once again, I'm just taking my eyebrow spoolie to the brow, which helps to blend everything together, make it look a little more natural. And then I'm moving on to my favorite step, which is to set my brows. So this thing is my baby. It is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper, and it's amazing because not only does it set and tint your brows a little, it has fibers in it, which help to make them look voluminous, if that makes sense. So you guys, these are my finished brows and that is how I maintain them every week or every second week and also how I fill them in every day. So that's basically everything I do when it comes to my eyebrows. Of course you can tweak and tailor this to your own needs but this is how I do my eyebrows on an everyday basis and how I maintain them. I know some people may not agree with the way that I do it but I find this is what I'm most comfortable with and this is what works for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated with all the videos that I post. As always, I will see you all in my next video. Take care.